Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today is a day that I don't always look forward to, but it's for the good of the channel, and that is my unboxing of the iPhone 11 Pro Max, or as I like to call it, the iPhone 11 Professional Maximum. That's the right term for it. I mean, if you really just unshorten the name, make it even longer, why don't you? Uh, but let's go ahead and unbox this. And you know what? I think I'm gonna drop this by the end of this video. What do you guys think? Should I drop it? Make sure to give a like thumbs up if you want me to drop it. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. So we have the 64 gig white variant. Uh, so it is going to have the fast charge ability built in because this is the Max Pro. There was 25% uh, Apple charges for a restocking fee. Jesus, Apple. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this. And I will say I do love the frosted uh, glass. I've loved it on my OnePlus, and I really like it here. It's a really, really nice frosting. And I don't even know if you can really see just how beautiful that texture is. Like, it's, it's such a nice texture. Frosted glass is definitely the way all manufacturers should go, in my opinion. I like the two-tone one, which this kind of is. It's kind of like a whitish silver, uh, but I just, I love frosted glass. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what YouTubers have lied to you. That is ugly. That is just ugly. You do not get used to it. It's ugly. And I, I will say on the white, it, that glossy thing really looks bad, actually, in my opinion. Let me kind of really show you guys. It looks like plastic. Like it, it is, it does not look like glass. It looks like plastic. And yeah, there's the microphone. I didn't even notice that right there before. So we have the microphone right there at the bottom of the camera. Then you have your flash and then you have that. Let's go ahead, turn that on. And we got the paperwork, we got the lightning uh, I was gonna say AirPods, lightning earbuds. And we have the Type-C to lightning cable. Great job, Apple. Uh, obviously this will be irrelevant when you go Type-C next year, but at least we got a big upgrade for a lot of Apple users, so that's awesome. It, it's, it's something that should have been done a long time ago, but I'm glad it, you cannot knock progress. So thank Apple for doing this finally on here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start this up. And then I'm gonna drop it. All right guys, so I've had two days to really test out and use the iPhone 11. So I wanted to give you my first impressions overall about the phone before I drop it. So first off, I really will say the battery life has definitely improved. Overall, this is by far the best battery life I've ever experienced on an iPhone. It's now on par with Android, not exceeding some of the flagships, but definitely a really good all day battery life. You can pretty much say that now, which you've never been able to say that about any iPhone. I feel like you could easily get to the end of the day, meaning you can start your job at 6 a.m. and get home by 8 p.m. and you still should have a little bit of battery life left no matter what you kind of do. So that is something, again, never been able to say about an iPhone, so I will say that. I do love the new dark mode. I think overall it just looks really good and definitely just so much better on all apps across the board. It just makes everything look a lot better. The camera quality we're gonna to get to in the camera comparison. So I will say though, definitely love that it has the triple camera setup and it's about time Apple has a night mode. Even if comparing to it, again, really I will say the video is something that I feel like a lot of YouTubers give Apple too much credit for, especially in low light mode. Uh, so we will be doing a side-by-side -side comparison that because although Apple does do an amazing job of putting 4K 60 frames per second on every single old camera here, that is something that I wish Android would follow because it's something that Apple does a really good job with here. I still think that sometimes they get too much credit, uh, especially just for low light video. They're not even comparable to the best out there. So ending on this, we will say that my last impression is just that I feel like after coming from a lot of other Android devices, these bezels are just really big. I don't know if it's just me, like I haven't had an iPhone or really used my iPhone in a long time, but it just feels like coming from something like this, not only does the notch feel outdated, but just the bezels really do. Like they just, 
they're so huge and I get it, it's probably symmetrical. You know, Apple wanted to keep the same size of bezels all the way around, but when comparing to even other Android devices that have a bezel, it really is just a little bit thicker. Uh, now it's thinnest on the bottom, I still believe out of all phones, but it, having that notch and those bezels really just kind of take away from it uh, from me as having a good usable screen. Like I hated watching videos or YouTube on this uh, just because again, I feel the notch is definitely dated and it just needs to be, it, it needs to be revamped. And I think we're gonna get that next year. Um, overall, still has good wireless charging. However, it's still just not as fast as everything else. But I will say it's a solid upgrade, especially with the cameras and uh, the battery life. I think that's the biggest thing that you could want from it being an iPhone user, right? If you were an iPhone user from before, this year's model upgraded the camera and the battery life, and that is what most people wanted. So I think it's really good. I am very happy with the color I got, even though I still really don't like the color shift on this uh, glossy finish on the clear. I really don't like it. I just, I think it looks tacky. Uh, but I love the back of it and I love the stainless steel. It feels really solid, feels really good. Um, but those are my overall first impressions on the iPhone. Maybe we'll do a full review later on. I do think that I have enough already exploring this phone to really do a hidden features video. So if you wanna see a hidden features video on the iPhone, let me know. And without further ado, let's go ahead and drop this phone. All right guys, so as promised, it is time for me to drop this phone just out of sheer annoyance. So now getting ready to drop it. One, two, three. What do you think, I was crazy enough to drop this phone without a case? Heck no. Should have got them to sponsor it. But at least now we know the UAG case does work to protect the phone. And yeah, gotta go back to doing more videos on this phone, despite what I wanted to do. All right guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.